In this video, you're going to learn how to quickly create a male-female infographic fill chart. You can of course use any icons of your choice here. A few weeks ago, I created a video that showed how you can use icons in a bar chart in a dynamic way. There I used the male-female icon inside the chart. I then got this question. Could we create a column chart based on these icons? And basically create it in a way that's dynamic. So if we were tracking the split between female male customers, we just need to update the values here and the chart would automatically update. So we know how we want the end result to look, but how do we even get started? Let's first think about the chart type. What chart type do you think we could use and tweak to get to this effect? I would say a clustered column chart, and later we could replace the columns with our icons. Now what about the series? Is this information enough? It's missing something here, and it's missing the comparison. So if I would create a clustered column chart based on this, I'm just gonna highlight this, go to insert, and insert a column chart, I can see the existing amount, so the filled amount, but I can't see the full amount, so I can't really do a comparison. To be able to get that inside our chart, I can add in a series that's 100%. Now that we have an idea about the chart type that we need and the type of series that can help us get there, let's do this from scratch. So right here, I have an input cell where I can input the percentage for female. Under male, I have a calculation that just gives me the rest. Now I'm gonna add the full amount here and that's fixed to 100%. So that's not something I need to change, that's gonna be fixed. Based on this, let's insert a column chart. That's my female category, that's my male category. Here I can see the full amount and this is the filled amount. So I can compare one to another. The idea is once we have everything set up and we have our icons in place, we can overlap this series with one another. So basically we can bring one of these series on top of the other one. And that's how we can get our fill effect. There is an option for this. So if you click on any of these bars and bring up the properties, you can press Control one, double click them, or right mouse click, go to format data series. On their options here, we can see something called series overlap. And if I bring this all the way up to 100%, I can see one series overlapping the other. The series that does the finer overlap is the series that comes last in here. And you always have the ability to switch things around by right mouse clicking, going to select data, and by pushing the other series down. Okay, so the option is there, but right now I'm not gonna use it because I don't wanna overlap them at this stage. The reason is I'm gonna have different icons for male and female, and I wanna be able to click on each of these separately. And it's gonna make it difficult for me to do that if the series are overlapped. Let's bring in our female and male icons. I'm gonna use the icon sets that are available in Office 365. So I'm gonna to go to insert, click on icons, select the male and female icon and insert them. Now you can use any type of icon set that you want, but it would be good to use a vector graphic in this case, because you can define its fill color and its outline color separately. Now let's configure the icons to the way we want them to look in the end. I want them to be a bit bigger, so I'm gonna increase their height to two, the same for the female icon. I also want different colors. Let me actually just put them on this side. For the male icon, I'm gonna take away the outline. I'm gonna use the fill color that's this blue for the female icon, I'm also gonna take away the outline and use a green color. Okay, so that's gonna be the fill color. Basically, that's this series for female and this series for male. Now for the background, for the comparison part, the 100%, I want the same icons. I'm just gonna copy and paste and copy and paste. I just want them to have an outline. So I'm gonna to go to format 
change the outline to a gray outline and take away the fill color, so no fill. And the same for male, I'm gonna use this outline and no fill color. Let me also just remove the grid lines. Okay, so next step is bring this in here. I'm gonna click on the icon, Control C, then click on the full series, but not once, twice, so that only this series is selected. If I click once, the entire series is selected, and if I press Control V, I get both of them to be the female icon. Hit Control Z to go back. So just click on the one and then press Control V, then do the same for male, Control C, click, click again, that only this series is selected, and Control V. Now to bring these series a bit together, I'm gonna decrease the gap width. Just click on any of these bars, go to series options, for gap width, go to 0%. So this makes the bars fatter. Now ultimately, I'm gonna be putting this on top of this, but before I do that, I wanna copy and paste this one in there. So I'm gonna click on the filled version, I'm gonna press Control C, click, click again, Control V. Now, here is the problem. It shrinks my icon. I don't want it to shrink. I want the icon to be its full amount, but I want it to be cut off. There is an option for that. With this series active, go to series options, go to fill color. Do you see an option that's gonna help us do that here? The option is right down here. It's called stack and scale width, and you can define the units per picture. So this is just one unit, so we can keep that on one. Now we're gonna do the same thing for male, Control C, click, click again that only this series is selected, and Control V. Go back and update the option to be stack and scale with one unit of this picture, right? So this looks nice. Now before we overlap these, I'm also just gonna fix the y-axis here to 100%. So just click on it, go to axis options. I'm gonna fix the minimum by typing in a zero and pressing enter and fix the maximum by typing in a one and then press enter. Okay, and I'm just gonna remove the grid lines here. Now comes the great part, we just have to overlap these. So click on any of these series, it doesn't matter which one. Go to options here and let's increase the overlap to 100%. And we end up with our nice effect. So I'm gonna remove this, just press delete. I'm gonna remove the axis as well. Okay, so let's just double check that everything is dynamic. Let's change this to 25%. This looks good. 90%, this looks great. Now it would also be nice to add in the data label for this on top here. The data label is associated with which series? The filled series or the full series? The filled series, right? Because I wanna see 90% here and I wanna see 10% here in this case. So that means I need to activate the data labels for the filled series, right? Well, let's see if that's what we need to do. Now, when I click here, the full series highlights. It's gonna be difficult for me to select the filled one because that's in the background, but you can always find each element in the chart from this drop down right here. So I'm gonna go with series filled, and then I'm gonna to go to the plus here and activate the data labels. Check what happens. I have the right labels, but I don't have the right position. I would like this 10% to be on top and the 90% to be on top. Label is right, position is wrong. What about if I use the full series? So I'm just gonna remove this and let's go with the full series. If I activate the data labels for that one, what happens? The position is right, but the label is wrong. Now the thing with Excel charts is that the position is actually more important than the label because the label itself is something that you can easily adjust. How do we adjust this? Well, with the labels highlighted, I'm gonna go to label options here. And if you have Excel 2013 and above, you have this option that says value from cells. So you just click on that and it says, which label do you wanna show here? And I'm gonna select this. And this is gonna be dynamic. By default, it's showing me this value and it also shows me the original value. That's something I don't want, so I'm just gonna take the check mark away. 
Now, what about if you have an older version of Excel? You can still do it. You just have to use another method. What you need to do is double click on the label and then go directly to the formula bar, type in an equal and reference this cell and then press enter and go to the next one. Just make sure only that one is highlighted. Go to the formula bar, type in an equal and reference that cell. So that's what you can do if you have an older version of Excel. Now I'm just going to make these labels bigger and bold. In this case, I'm going to remove my axis, but if you have different icons for different products, you can keep your axis in place. I'm just going to remove the border around the chart as well. Okay, so that looks nice. Now I can make this a bit smaller. Now you can also bring down your plot area. If you find that it's difficult to select your plot area from here, just select it from the series options. I'm going to go with plot area and just give it some breathing space here. Okay, so that's our male female infographic. The great thing about it is that it's one chart. So we don't even have to worry about grouping different charts together when we're moving this around. Okay, and finally, we could add in a title to make it look like this. So that's basically just a shape that's inside the chart and I've added this custom title to it. Okay, so that's basically how you can create an infographic using male female icons. Don't forget that you can do this using any type of icons of your choice. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And for more of Excel videos that are like this, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you can get updates when new videos come out.